So next, what are the most common bench press injuries? Well, again, looking through the medical literature, the most common ones you're going to find are strains, sprains, tendonitis, and these are the most commonly reported injuries in bodybuilding and powerlifting. It's going to be a little bit different once you get into Olympic weightlifting, uh, once you get into CrossFit, right? Um, the other reported injuries you're going to find, particularly with bench press, is going to be pec strains and or ruptures. It's going to be shoulder dislocations, both anteriorly, right, through the front and posteriorly through the back. You're going to see capsulolabral injuries. So that's your uh, basic labral tears, your instability patients, your slap tears, your biceps tendonitis patients, superior labral issues. You'll see rotator cuff pathology. Um, with this, you'll see tendonitis, tendinosis, and tears. And lastly, you'll see AC joint pathology. Like I mentioned before, distal clavicle osteolysis, oftentimes just referred to as AC joint arthritis. Right. Um, and here's the thing. Once you start looking through the medical literature, it's actually a little bit scary. Uh, you might start thinking that everybody just tears their pec, right, and dislo dislocates their shoulder uh, just because that's most of the research in terms of case studies that we have online. And there's not a ton of research, you know, um, just shows that there's a lot of ruptures and there's a lot of dislocations. Uh, these are relatively rare. Right. And I wanted to say is that uh, I'm a physical therapist, right? I've been working with the fitness population for, I don't know, close to 20 years now, right? As a physical therapist and a coach. So what I see the most in terms of injuries, uh, by far the biggest one is going to be your basic rotator cuff tendonitis, tendinosis, or bursitis. Close second, and maybe even a first, depending on the age, uh, is going to be biceps tendonitis, tendonitis or biceps tendinosis, right? Uh, pretty far... Uh, third after those two would be your labral pathology. So your slap tears, your anterior and posterior instability, and your multi-direction instability. Uh, they're still relatively common. It's not like I don't see them quite a bit. And then further and further down the line, so these are pretty distant in terms of how often I see these, but you'll see your AC joint injuries, so your distal clavicle osteolysis, you'll see your pec strain, you'll see your pec ruptures, and your dislocations. Uh, the dislocations, I have never seen personally, right? I've only read about these online. Uh, I've treated thousands and thousands of people over the course of time that push it pretty hard in the gym, and I've never seen a dislocation, at least from bench press, right? Have I seen a few ruptures? Yes. Have I seen a lot of these pec strains? Yes, I've seen some of these, but I got to be honest, the dislocations are, are very, very rare, at least from what I've seen. Uh, 